Hey guys, welcome back to another Mario Maker video. Uh, in this one, we're going to be showcasing a level submitted to us by Gamerboy during a live stream a couple days ago. Uh, it is a infinite checkpoint level. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get very far in it during the stream, but it is a super cool level. I ended up playing it afterwards. Um, so first, let's check out uh, just how awful I was at it during the stream, and then we're going to check out us uh, trying out level and getting world record on it. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, the confidence. I'm glad someone's confident. Oh gosh. Alright, so hit the top of my head. I think I just got to go immediately. Okay. Let's not miss the... Oh my gosh. Ah, okay, so a little later than that. Oh, oh right. close, close, close. I like it. I like it so far. Oh man, this is a freaking a freaking triple jump. And oh, oh, okay. Up the uh, green. Up to set up a Death thing. Oh gosh. Ah. Oh, okay. So I gotta jump, hover, jump over that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think I, I, Oh no, Yoshi! Oh, no. no, Yoshi! You left me. Oh, I think oh, no. death counters. Checkpoint's coming. Oh, no. First time. Oh, oh, didn't twirl. I panicked. I panicked. Where are we at? 28 deaths. That's not too bad. Though. That's not too bad. Though. Two thousand years later. <laughs> So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. This beginning part of the level is probably the hardest part in my opinion, and I think that's done on purpose for two reasons. One is to just scare away most players from even attempting the level, and two is just to increase the deaths as much as possible, making it more likely that it becomes a super expert level. But if you can make it past that first Yoshi jump with the spikes, you're pretty much set for the rest level, as after you go through this door, you now have unlimited checkpoints, meaning mushroom powers after every challenge. Or mushroom power-ups after every challenge. I'm choosing this challenge first, it's mo probably the most easy to get through without getting hit. If I keep running back and forth, Bowser Jr. will continue just to spin the entire time instead of throwing fire at me. All I'm doing right now is waiting for the P-Switch right there to come down, so I can grab it, throw it back at Bowser Jr. to hit for me, and go through the door. Uh, throwing it back at Bowser Jr. is a little bit faster than trying to hit it myself, um, as sometimes you can miss and Bowser Jr. never does. For this next challenge, I'm going to be grabbing the power-up and going through this pipe. I'm using the power-up for this challenge as it's probably the hardest in my opinion and the most likely for me to lose the entire power-up. Um, of course, you could just do this part a little bit slower to not lose the power-up, um, but I figure it gives it to you and we are trying to go for speed, not for accuracy. Of course, there are several hidden power-ups in the level as well, which is another reason we can kind of use them without caring as much. Uh, I'm assuming the level creator used these hidden power-ups to get through the level uh, without dying, as you have to to beat the level. This is the store. This challenge is pretty easy, and we have now just two coins to go. Probably didn't need to grab that right there. I go through this pipe, which most likely I will not be hit on, and then we just have one pipe after this. Fortunately, that's basically the only part we have to wait for for this whole level, or the slowest part. If you go to the left here, you will actually go through a pipe and get um, 
the green mushrooms giving you lives. Of course, we won't be showing that for this level or for this showcase, just as we are trying to get world record. The final challenge is through this pipe. It's probably the most tedious and why I leave it for last. Um, we do have firepower, which means we could light these bombs off with it. However, that does mean we were standing longer and more likely that we would fall into the lava, as well as it's much slower to actually shoot them with firepower anyway, and more... It's quicker just to throw them. Looks like one or two more bombs and we should be able to get through here. Um... One problem with being big right now, however, is that I couldn't get through there. Hopefully that doesn't drag our time down by too long. We now got our key. We use this stone to go through the key door. And this is the end. The previous world record was 3 minutes and 58 seconds. Of course, there was many times throughout this run that I probably could have done a little bit better, done things a little bit faster. Um, but I will leave that for you guys to beat this record. Let's see how much we beat the previous by. Our new world record is 2 minutes and 43 seconds, beating the previous world record by a full minute and 10 seconds. Um, thank you again, GamerBoy, for submitting this level during our stream, um, and I hope to play some more levels in the future.